Today I'll walk you through the process of building and evaluating models to predict heating and cooling loads using architectural features. This project is broken into several logical steps, each with a clear objective and implementation strategy. We begin by importing essential libraries. These include pandas for data manipulation, NumPy for numerical computations, matplotlib and seaborn for data visualization, scikit-learn for building and evaluating machine learning models. We then load the dataset from the UCI repository. This dataset contains architectural features and corresponding heating and cooling loads. The data will serve as the foundation for our predictive models. To make the dataset more intuitive, we rename the columns. This improves code readability and makes it easier to interpret results during exploratory data analysis and model evaluation. EDA helps us understand the relationships between features and target variables. For this, we use pairwise visualizations, such as scatter plots and correlation heat maps, to identify patterns and insights that can influence the model performance. We then separate the data set into features X and target variables Y. The target variables are heating load, Y heating, and cooling load, Y cooling. The data is then split into training and testing sets with 80% for training and 20% for evaluation. This ensures the model generalizes well to unseen data. We train two types of models for each target variable. Linear regression, which is simple yet effective baseline model, trained to predict both heating and cooling loads. Next, random forest regressor, a more complex model capable of capturing nonlinear relationships. Each model is trained separately for each for heating and cooling load predictions using the FIT method and predictions are generated using PREDICT. The performance for each model is assessed using the following metrics. Mean absolute error, which measures average prediction error. Mean squared error, which penalizes larger errors. R squared indicates the proportion of variability explained by the model. These metrics provide a comprehensive view of how well each model performs for both heating and cooling loads. Next, we implement a prediction function. This function takes user inputted architectural features and uses the trained model to predict heating and cooling loads. It serves as a practical tool to demonstrate the application of our model. Finally, the function is tested its sample feature sets to ensure its accuracy and usability, the outputs predicted, heating and cooling loads, validate the effectiveness of the train model. By following this structured approach, we built a robust framework to predict heating and cooling loads based on architectural features. This project highlights the importance of systematic data pre-processing, model training, and evaluation to achieve accurate predictions. Thank you.